LeBron James has had high expectations since high school, and he's managed to exceed them and set unbreakable records. But like LeBron would tell you, his NBA career is coming to an end. As a player, he's expressed interest in one day owning an NBA team, and with Adam Silver recently saying that Las Vegas is on his list for an expansion team, I think you can see where this is going. But he won't be the first NBA player to own a team. In 2010, Michael Jordan became the first ex-player to become an NBA owner when he bought the Charlotte Bobcats. And after a horrible 13 years, he finally sold the team. But for LeBron, we're going to be building this Las Vegas team from scratch. And with Bronny entering the 2024 NBA draft, you already know who's going to be the face of the franchise. Our goal is to win at least 5 rings in 30 seasons. So let's start by building this team. Alright, so here's the team. The Las Vegas Venom. I'm not sure what they're actually going to name the Las Vegas team. I'm just going with Venom. And it's the 2024 offseason. It is time for us to have the expansion draft. If you look at our roster, it is empty. Not a single soul on this team. Not yet. So the first order of business is for teams to protect their players. So people that are not eligible for the draft. So we're going to see. I imagine, you know, they're going to take their best players. Yeah, you could choose up to eight players, I believe. So for teams like the Bucks, they're going to protect Giannis, Lillard, you know, the best players. Obviously, it goes without saying. Uh, but the Bulls are not protecting Zach Levine, interestingly enough. But now it's time for the actual drafts. We could choose our players and the best player available is Zach Levine. So I got to think, what's the best roster I can make with these leftovers i guess i feel like zach levine is the obvious choice here we got to go with zach levine as shooting guard so he's gonna be our first selection our next player should we just go in order of who's available like just by overall or should we go by fit i'm not sure but i'll definitely take onyeka and kongwe lamello ball's teammate in high school terry rosier at point guard i guess um we're gonna need a small forward and harrison Barnes is not who i want a small forward i'm not even sure who aaron Neesmith is is that James Naismith's, you know, grandson? I don't know. Like, our, our choice of selection is horrible. Absolutely horrible. I guess we can go with Seth Curry. I mean, LeBron does want a Curry on the team. It's not going to be Steph, but it could be Seth. We'll go with Robin Williams. He's a funny guy. He's a good center for us, I imagine. And then, should I go with Paul Reed, the most improved player in 2K Sims? Or should I go with Marcus Smart? I'll go with Marcus Smart. Let's see if there's any players that LeBron has played with that he would most likely draft to the team. Ben Simmons, can we revive his career in Las Vegas? I feel like that's a horrible place to put him in. LeBron is definitely not drafting Isaiah Stewart. He's definitely not going to do that. If you know, you know. So I'll go with Paul Reed. I'll just fill out the roster at this point. Like, I, I kind of want to sim it, but let's just fill it out with... I mean, we got a young guy in Aaron. Mo Wagner is also a solid player out of Michigan. You know, not the greatest player in the world, but I guess we'll take him. Bump it. I'm taking Ben Simmons. We might as well. Uh, maybe LeBron can help him. Is that Andrew Wiggins? Nope, it's his uh, little brother. I don't know why. I'll take Kevon Looney. You know, he won a lot of championships in Golden State. LeBron wants winners on this team and experience. And then we'll go with Larry Nance. Yeah, he did play with LeBron in Cleveland, so he's going to select him. And then Tim Hardaway Jr., who, I mean, he's a bucket. Last season, he averaged 13 points. I'll take him for scoring. And I think we'll finish it off with his current teammate, Gabe Vincent, out of L.A. Um, and then we can exit the draft here. And then it's time for the actual NBA draft. So with the first overall pick, the New Orleans Pelicans have it, and they select Alexander Saar out of France. It's all good as long as no one picks Bronny, because with the fifth overall pick, that's who we're going to be selecting. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Bronny James. We're selecting him with the fifth overall pick out of USC, and he's going to be the face of the franchise. And if you were curious, Rob Dillingham, he went to the Rockets. Matt Buzilis went to the Trailblazers. Ron Holland to the Spurs. And... Yeah, Mike Wazowski to the Knicks, DJ Wagner and Isaiah Cauliflower went to the Raptors and 76ers. Not bad. But now since we're building a team from scratch, we can enter a free agency and pick up some talent. And I'm thinking we should definitely go for some of these players. Okay, never mind. Don't have enough room. So here's the official roster led by Zach Levine on a two-year deal. I think everyone signed a two-year contract, basically. And the worst player on the team is <laughs> the coach's or the owner's son, Bronny James. But he's going to have so much potential and he's going to progress a lot during this video, hopefully. I will say our centers are looking solid. We have like four, five really solid centers, I would say. And the rotation looks like this. I manually made this rotation. So Terry Rozier is going to be the starting point guard getting 30 minutes a game. Levine, I should probably give Levine more minutes. So let me... uh let me take some minutes away from Ben Simmons. I feel like he doesn't want to play anyway. He's just there for like, I don't know why he's there. He's there to play Call of Duty with Bronny. I don't know. But Levine deserves more minutes. He's the best player. And then Robert Williams at power forward. Anyekon Kungwe at center. Um, and then all the way at eighth man is Bronny. So I think that's fair. He's wearing number zero. 
I think this is a good lineup and a nice rotation, but literally no one expects us to be good. 2K Sports has us projected to be the worst team in the league. Worse than the Wizards, and I feel like the Wizards suck. So I think at first we should just simulate to December 1st, see how many wins we can get with this roster. If we win more than like five games and up until December, I'll be impressed. And the Lakers, we got blown out by the Lakers. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. They crushed us by like, what, is that 60 points? Is that the biggest like deficit ever in a game? That's horrible. Look at this, man. I was thinking of having LeBron play in, in one more season as like a player owner, but I'm like, nah, bro. We're just gonna have it be legit. Him just be the owner of the team and uh, maybe say that for another video. Off to a very interesting start, six and 11. Let's see how our players are doing. So Zach Levine is by far our best player, averaging 35 points, Terry Rozier with 30, and then Robin Williams, he's averaging 15 boards, and then Onyeka's averaging 11, which is dope. Bronny James, we sent him down to the D-League. Oh no, that's crazy. I didn't think that would actually happen, but yeah, we had bro down to the D-League. Bronny, or LeBron said, you gotta get better. Um, I don't even know who the D-League team is there. But hey, he's not getting any preferential treatment. He's getting a slice of humble pie. So we'll see how that pans out for his career. If we have 30 years to win five rings, you know, I, we have time to work with. I think we'll pull it off. And if we don't, I'll do a, a giveaway on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you know, make sure you are. If we don't beat this challenge, something's gonna happen there. Our first season is not too bad. We finished out with 33 wins. Luka wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Donovan Klingan and Nas Reed. Okay, Nas Reed is sixth man of the year. Most improved goes to Anyeka and Kongwe. Yes, most improved on the Las Vegas Venom. Things you love to see. So I doubt we have any All NBA players. You never know. Hey, Zach Levine, bro. Zach Levine, the first Vegas Venom player to win an award uh, at 85 overall. Damn, he averaged 34 points a game. That's like legendary, right? Almost, almost, because Kobe, he got 35, so he's on that level. That's, that's pretty crazy for Zach Levine. Uh, we missed the playoffs, of course. We're in the Western Conference. We missed the playoffs, which is to be expected. But we weren't even the worst team in the West. It was the Lakers, so LeBron's old team. As a first-year owner, not so bad, to be honest. We did horrible on the road, which is interesting. You would think, yeah, I feel like we do have a crazy home court advantage because players are gonna wanna party in Vegas. We already did it, you know, you can only do it so many times if you're literally playing in that state, you know, city every uh, home game. So it makes sense why our home record is a lot better. But we got to step it up on the road. So Terry Rozier had an insane season, man. He went from averaging 17.9 to 30.7. Uh, do the math, you know, that's at least, uh, you know, at least five points increase and, in, you know, probably a little bit more. And he did that, bro. He ever seven assists as well. Onyeka Nkongwe with 14 and 10. Hey, James's grandson, he averaged 12. And then Robin Williams, he averaged 13 boards. Uh, Mo Wagner with eight. Bronny, he averaged only four points because he didn't play in the NBA at all. He was just in the D League, or G League. And you can see 69 overall, you know, it's nice, but I mean, still, Zach, bro, Marcus Smart, he sold the bag, only two points a game. But I think it's not a horrible start. We, we, we're on the right track. Now, one thing we do have going for us is that, you know, we have a good draft pick more than likely. And all the way in the finals, it is gonna be the Thunder with Shea Gilgius. So let's see, draft lottery, the Venom get the sixth overall pick. What? The Rockets have two, the top two picks. The Bulls have four and five. Low key, we should just trade our pick. If I'm LeBron James, I'm trying to build super teams, right? He did it as a player, he's gonna do it as an owner. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. But for our sixth overall pick, if we trade that, we can get Isaiah Cauliflower and uh, Adam Boner. We could get Andre Jackson. I'm trying to see if there's any established players we can go for. I feel like this is stupid, but we could trade our sixth overall pick for Kyle Kuzma, but we'd also get rid of Marcus Smart. I mean, LeBron has played with Kuzma and Seti Osma. He won a ring with Kuzma, but you know, honestly, here's the thing. This draft class is not horrible either. We have Cooper Flag, VJ Edgecombe, uh, and you know, some bots in here, Ding Patel, but we could possibly get Cooper Flag. Should we risk it? I think we should risk it. Moment of truth, we can still trade in the draft. So with the first overall pick, the Rockets get Dylan Harper. Are they gonna get Cooper Flag? They get Ace Bailey. The Lakers, damn, they took Cooper Flag from us. That would've been great to have them. VJ Edgecombe goes next and Carter Knox. All right, well, it is time for us to make a move. Let's see now what the value of our uh, pick is. Oh, snap. If we trade him and Gabe Vincent, the Lakers are willing to give up Cooper Flag. That's the no-brainer, right? Yeah, I don't even need Gabe Vincent. I, yeah, 0.9 points a game. 
Let me get Cooper Fly to the team. And that right there is going to be huge for the Las Vegas Venom franchise. And let's just keep going, going forward. So here's the thing. The next draft class is the 2026 NBA draft. And they have some interesting talent. Um, one player in particular, you might have heard of him. Maybe you haven't. Um, his name is, where is he at? Right here. Bryce James. If we could select him, team up with Bronny and Cooper Flag, LeBron has built an insane team, young team with a good future. So we'll, we'll keep an eye out on him later. So the team is still the same in terms of like, you know, Levine being our best player on Kungwe. Um, he might even be better now that he's in a different role. But we have too many point guards and I want Bronny to progress. I don't need Marcus Smart. So I think we should trade him. Now, would LeBron trade for Draymond Green? I, I, I don't know. I mean, Draymond would probably do anything to be on this Las Vegas Venom team but we're not gonna trade for him. Instead, what made sense in my head was Roy Hachimura. You know, LeBron loves him, play with him, of course, and he's doing decent, 11 points per game. I'd rather take a small forward instead, so we'll do that. And now we just gave up, you know, more room for Bronny to grow. And so far, it looks like it's working. Our first three games have been Ws. We beat the Bucks, which is kind of crazy. Uh, Lillard had 23, Giannis with 21, they got giddy, interesting. But Roy Hachimura, the guy we traded for, he put up 23. Bronny had 17 and 11, although he went four for 15. You know, he has the green light. He could do no wrong on this team. But uh, I like what I'm seeing. Let's just go to all-star break and see. All right, 29 to 27. Actually, is not bad for a second year team that literally like, you know, we weren't blessed with the first overall pick. We had to trade some assets. Cooper Flag, so far he's putting up 22 and 11. He's definitely, he's gonna win rookie of the year. By the way, if any of y'all are from Las Vegas or Nevada, comment down below. I wanna see uh, how excited are y'all. You guys are most likely will have a new NBA team. The city of Las Vegas is kind of glowing up. You got Y'all got an NFL team, a hockey team. Uh, I think uh, you guys have a, 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 a pickleball team, probably. It ends up being Wemben Yama winning a ring pretty, or not a ring, an MVP, uh, probably a ring too. Pretty early in his career. We got Cooper Flag Rookie of the Year. If you look at his stat line compared to Wemben Yama, it is not too far off. I'm not, it's really close. So that's interesting. We'll see how his career pans out. Sengun goes to the Nuggets as a sixth man. So they got Jokic and Sengun as a backup center. That's kind of nuts. All right. And Cooper Flag is all NBA third team. So talk about a great start to a career. We do not make the playoffs or the play-in, so that's unfortunate. This season, once again, Zach Levine averaged the most with 26, but as you can see, we had a lot of big hitters. Uh, Bronny, he averaged nine points and five assists. All around, not bad. Year three is gonna be an interesting one, but let's see if Wemby will win his first championship in season number three. And no, it's gonna be the Thunder knocking him out and the Thunder going back to back. Now, once again, we're in the draft lottery and we actually have the 12th overall pick. So I think we should be safe to draft uh, Bryce James here. And that's exactly what we're gonna do with the 12th or the, with the yeah 12th overall pick, Bryce James at six foot nine. Obviously he's gonna be a lot taller than Bronny, six foot nine small forward. He's not on the team. So now it's Cooper Flag being the best player on the Venom. We got Levine, uh, he's decreasing in his overall and then Bronny James is tied the same overall as Terry Rozier. Let's see who's gonna be the point guard. LeBron said, hey, you better make it Bronny. And these minutes are way off, I gotta fix this. And I just realized we picked up Bull Bull. So I guess, hey, we got a seven, how tall is bro? He's seven foot three, he averaged nine points last season. I think this team is like a legit contender. I know the overalls aren't really high, but I like the play styles, they mesh with each other. Two-way players, scores, defenders, you know, people that could get rebounds. I can see us making the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. I think we did it. I think we have our first winning season, 44 wins, Jokic is MVP. Uh, okay, cool, fine. Cooper Flag, most improved player, averaging 30, 12, four and two blocks. Better than Wemben Yama, dog. Better than Wemben, yeah, 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 bro. Him and Bronny, both being all NBA first team is actually nuts. Bronny, only an 81 overall, but he averaged 27 and 11. Okay, I like where this is going a lot. We are the third seed in the West. The thing is, Bronny twisted his left ankle. He'll be fine, he'll tough it out. How did Terry Rozier do? Ooh, ooh, brother, ooh, three points a game. What? Oh, okay, this makes a lot more sense. I, <laughs> there's some sort of glitch. I don't know why it's, it's it keeps doing this. It keeps making the rotation 48 minutes for everyone. If anyone wants to tell me why it's doing that, that'd be great. Um, it's kind of stupid. But if it got us to the third seed, it got us to the third seed. I'm not going to complain. Let's simulate this first round against the Spurs. Wemben Yama, he's our matchup. 2-2, hold on. 
down 3-2 and we're going to a game seven. But if you see right here, like, like it really is us playing 48 minutes, which is an issue. So I'm gonna fix that. What's going great for us is that Wembenyama, he's out for six to eight weeks. So they lost their best player basically. You know, I really shouldn't even have to, ho have to hop in, but just to be safe. The fact that we're losing at home and they don't have Wembenyama is very concerning. We have enough centers that we can, bro, bro, come on. There's no way we just lost. We lost by 20 points. Yo, what? How? I got, they just play better. I guess they just play better. I, wow. Yeah, that is, I mean, they still played 48 minutes. This is a glitch. I swear I fixed it. I don't know why it's not. Yeah, it's stupid. Well, we ended up losing. We had to figure that out because that just cost us the playoff game. And it's going to be the Pelicans going all the way. Hey, Alexander Saar being the center the Pelicans needed to team up with Zion. It worked out for him. And Curry retires as a Dallas Maverick. That is so weird, but game's game. I ended up downloading some rotation. There was like a 10 man rotation. So you see why I split up so evenly. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea or not, but in the 2027 season, our, I believe it's our, maybe our fourth year. Hold on, let's see. For Bronny, yeah, the fourth season that we're doing the simulation, Cooper's at 87. We picked up Mikhail Bridges in the off season, which is great. A four year deal for 146 million. Another two-way player, you know, similar to Bronny, they're both two-way players. Bronny's 85 overall, and Neck is 84. And uh, Bryce James, last season, he only averaged one point because we had the, the mess up with the roster. This season, he'll probably do better this season. But I have a feeling we can win a championship within the next like, two to three years. And what do you know, bro? Our best record yet, 57 wins, and Bronny James wins MVP. Ain't no way. He averaged 30 and 14 assists. That is an insane stat line. And eight boards a game. Um, I don't know who Kobe Carroll is. It's an interesting name. Double C, you know. Uh, anyway, yeah, Luca's a warrior. This video is kind of weird. So Bronny and Cooper Flag once again being on NBA first team. Cooper Flag averaged 32 and 13. I feel like he could break the scoring record at this rate. You never know. Um, and then we finished first in the West. Started from the bottom, literally, and now we're here. Bro, I don't know why. Bro, I think my game is glitched. There has to be a glitch. I fixed everything, and it's still doing this. Why? Why? Yeah, he's playing 48 minutes a game, basically. I don't know what's going on. There's like some sort of glitch to my 2K I gotta fix. Okay, I think we fixed it because now my guy's averaging 37 minutes, 35, 15. Okay, I think we fixed it. I'm, I'm hoping, I, here's just, if you guys are curious on how I did it, I had to do lineup automation off and then import a whole different rotation so it doesn't keep messing up. I, that's what I'm hoping, bro. I don't know at the end of the day. What I do know is that I'm trying to win a ring. And in this first round, we're gonna end up winning in, wait a minute, no, we're going to game seven. Oh my God, why, why, why does this keep happening? Oh my God, 2K, what are y'all doing, dog? Someone in the comments, please teach me how do I change it so they don't keep doing 48 minutes, please. Also, we lost Mikhail Bridges for the season with a dislocated left padilla, probably because we were overworking him playing 48 minutes a game. And the same thing with Bronny, he hyperextended his right elbow. So this is actually causing like a real issue for the franchise. So someone please tell me. Okay, so just a quick update. I think I fixed it. Uh, so I just did this game plan where I had a one and then I just pasted it to every team. So that way it, it should work. It worked in the last couple games I simulated. Uh, actually, no, I, actually, I didn't even try it yet. Uh, but let's just, let's just, here we go, here we go. So we put Bronny back in the rotation because he is healthy. We're up against the Thunder in game seven. You guys know the Thunder is a stacked team. If we beat them, we're going all the way basically. And we end up beating them. Uh, Cooper Flag dropped 38. He's been on a tear in the playoffs. Bronny has 16. Okay, so we advanced to the Nuggets and, and, and Bronny's kind of healthy. But Terry Rozier is now out for a couple weeks. Like I said, you know, overplaying them is an issue. Nuggets have Jokic, Benedict Mathurin, they lost Jamal Murray, and they lost uh, Elprin Sangoon. So their team doesn't look that strong, to be honest. Game one, yeah, the minutes, I think the minutes thing is working. We dropped 27. Game two, Bryce drops 30. No, that's Bryce. Bryce dropped 30 points. Okay, I like that out of him. Game three, we lose. Next game, we're up 3-1 with, is that Bryce? No, it's Bronny dropping 41. Bryce had 25. This is like LeBron's dream happening right now. 3-2, we're going to a game seven. But Onyeka Nkongwe is injured, so we have to sub him out. And we'll put Pole Bowl, Pole Bowl, Bowl Bowl as starting center instead. So moment of truth, can we make it to our first finals in our fourth season as a team? It's a close game. I think we're gonna run away with it. Yeah, that third quarter we played solid. Fourth quarter, they're kind of coming back, but nah, not enough. And just like that, we're going to the finals. Bronny, he averaged 24, 
Uh, that's Bryce actually. He averaged 24 and 10, and then Rozier had 20. I don't know why Bull Bull decided to take 10 three pointers. Bro is bugging. But we're up against the Knicks. Led by Jalen Brunson, they got Cameron Boozer, who's Carlos Boozer's son. They kept Julius Randle, Dante DiVincenzo, Double Ds, and then Mitchell Robinson. Their team is solid. A lot of depth. Mike Wazowski, Josh Hart, a lot of depth. And they got Mo Wagner, who we used to have uh, for one season, then he dipped. So here we go. Game one, we end up losing. Uh, Jalen Brunson had 36. He shot almost perfect. Game number two, we take that one. Cooper dropped 36. And next game, we take it. I like that. Cooper Flag had 40. Cooper is saving this franchise 3 1. Bro, he's putting this team on the map. All right, let's hop in now. I got to get into some actual gameplay. We got to see how they are on the court because these numbers are, look unreal. It's a close back and forth game. Let's not get too comfortable now. Hold on. I'm thinking I should hop in right about here. Up by three with two and a half left. So our first look at this Las Vegas court, we're going to win the first ring in this stadium, which is dope for this team. Jared Vanderbilt gives it to Lonnie Walker. I think they both play with LeBron. I don't think Bobo's ever played with him. I'm trying to see where Bryce or Brian James is. I don't see him anywhere. So instead, it's going to be Vando attacking. He misses, gets the board, and puts it back up. That was an interesting animation. And with four seconds left, hey, yo, someone's got to shoot the ball. Dante DiVincenzo, open look, missed it. We grabbed the board. Okay, we're looking good. Bronny, he's going to attack baseline. Come on, back him down. You should pass the ball or fade away and he drains it if they don't score here they're gonna be in big trouble i mean jalen is their number one guy and he's being passive dante he's got an open three pulling up and he misses it in and out mike wazowski to og newbie for three and he misses it cooper flag with the board and i think we should be set i'm not gonna lie that vegas venom logo on the court looks like a chipotle logo and it's making me hungry but now all brownie has to do is dribble out the clock and we just won LeBron his first championship as an NBA owner in Las Vegas. They're gonna say it's scripted, but I promise you it's not. And it took us four short years, I would say, and LeBron's dream came true. He won a championship as a player and now as an owner with his both of his sons, you know, being on this team. Literally can't, can't script this. And uh, Bronny, he might win finals MVP, but realistically speaking, it should go to Cooper Flag. In the finals MVP award, it looks like it's going to Bronny. Moment of truth, and yes, it goes to Bronny James, averaging 24, 5, and 12. Literally can't write this any better. And that's after four years. I think we can win five, but let's just go year by year. Let's try to repeat and go back to back. So the next season, we lost a big piece for us, our center, Onyeka Nkongwe. We actually don't have any good centers, which sucks for us. We started off with so many good ones, but now Cooper Flag's 90 overall, Brian's 80. Vando's gonna be our center at six foot eight, which is really short. Mikhail is still out for a few months, which sucks. No, hold on, I'm bugging. Bobo's a center. Why is he listed at power forward? What the heck? All right, there we go. Rotation, it looks like it's fixed now and it's a lot better, so he'll be our center. Okay, we have, hey, I think this team, I think with Cooper Flag and Bronny alone, we, we could just go back to back with them. Just for reference, the best players in the league are uh, all foreigners. So they're all on their same teams, at least the, the top four guys. Luca's a warrior. Uh, Tatum is a Laker, just like Kobe, man. He wants to be just like him. Booker's on the Clippers. I'm trying to see if there's any other changes. Um, not really. Yeah, not really. Come on, man. 58 wins, Cooper Flag MVP. And let's just make sure the whole uh, number, the, the minutes per game. Yeah, 35 minutes per game, much more reasonable. And he won MVP legitly. Uh, and let's see if anyone else won anything. No. Adam, uh, that last name's interesting, man. A very interesting last name. Okay, <laughs> not gonna pronounce that though. Not want to get demonetized there. Um, hey man, hey man, we're first in the West again. Can we go back to back? Bronny he averaged 26 and 10. Uh, Mikhail averaged 14, and then Bryce he averaged 11 and 7. I like what I'm seeing. Let's go back to back. Round one against Luca, beat him. The Spurs beat him. Mavericks beat him, and we're up against the Knicks. A rematch, which we're gonna end up winning. In six, baby. Cooper Flag wins finals MVP. Okay, so two rings in five years. This is going as good as it can get. Let's just see. You know, Cameron Boozer and Cooper Flag, they are, you know, the rivals here. Same draft class, I believe. If we can win more rings as an owner than a player for LeBron, I mean, then we exceeded this expectation, like, just like, you know, by a lot. Hall of Fame inductees is Damian Lillard and Paul George. Now, question Damian Lillard and Paul George retired. But Rudy Gobert, y'all consider him a Hall of Famer? Draymond Green, y'all consider him a Hall of Famer? They won, I mean, he won multiple rings. Gobert won a lot of defensive players. And Ben Wallace made it. He won Defensive Player of the Year awards. 
So just curious what y'all think. Okay, so year number six, and we have Bronny up to an 87 overall on a three-year deal for $155 million. But you know who has a crazier contract? Cooper Flag, because he signed a five-year 261. It's about a over a quarter billion dollars for five years. Bryce getting paid only eight million. He still got to earn himself a big contract. Uh, Mikhail's here for two more years. So I think we have a good enough team to three-peat. The thing is, we lost Bull Bull. So our best center is this Chris Low guy. He's seven foot. But uh, yeah, missing Bobo is going to suck. Let's see if we can go back to back and win three in a row. Also, the fact that the year is, what, 2029 and uh, Devin Booker is still only 32 years old goes to show how crazy, like how crazy young he got drafted to still be only 32. We're about to set a record in uh, franchise history with 62 wins and Cooper Flag wins. Is that his third or second MVP? Uh, I think it's his third, right? No, it's the second. Two MVPs in five years. I mean, talk about a great start to a career. Um, averaging 28 and 11. You know, he's taking away MVPs from a victim of Yama. And then we got a bot, bot, Alexander Saar going to the Clippers. And yes, yeah, more bots. Bet it up. Bronny wants to get an all NBA first team. Is Bryce here? No. But we're somehow still not first in the West. It's the Thunder. We had the same record. They just had a better uh, road record. And no, we had the same divisional record. They had a better conference record, and that's why they were the first seed, I believe, is, is, is how it goes. But we're chilling, so let's just see how we played. Bronny this season, he averaged 27 and 10. Uh, and then Bryce James, he averaged 16 and 8. So he's definitely going to earn himself a big contract next season. Uh, the rest of our players, you know, we have Adas Marai. It's his third season. He was apparently in the 2024 draft, but he didn't play from 2027 to 2029, it's a couple years off, I guess. I don't know why. Um, I mean, hey, he averaged 13 for us. We got a better center. And I think we can make another finals run. In the first round, we're gonna end up winning in seven. A little too close there. Against the Rockets, we end up sweeping that one. And we're up against the, the Thunder, who we're gonna end up, hold on, three, two, and it's game seven. It's about to be another game, uh, another finals against the Knicks if we win. It's like the Warriors and Cavaliers of like 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Um, but now it's going to be the Venom and Knicks if we can make it. It's kind of a close game, but we pulled out with it in the end. And uh, Cooper had 48 points, dog. Uh, Bronny had 22, a triple-double actually. And yeah, another finals matchup. We're going to sweep them. And we just three-peated. Something LeBron couldn't even do. Bronny won finals MVP. In game one, he dropped 40 points. In game two, he dropped 41 and 10. Then he had 32. And then uh, Cooper finished him off with 36. I mean, talk about a great season for the team. I like what I'm seeing. Like going to team history, we already have three championships, which is more than like almost every team. I can't believe it, but LeBron did not re-sign Bryce. I don't know why we let him go. Maybe we just couldn't afford it because, you know, these guys are getting paid so much. But we lost. We lost them. He ended up signing to the Kings on a four-year, $166 million deal. In real life, LeBron would not let that happen, dog. There's no way that we would let that happen. Uh, that sucks. But he started off as good of a career as you can ask for with three championships in four years. 55 wins. Bronny wins an MVP. Is that his first or his second? That's his second MVP. So without uh, Bryce... I don't know how he got an MVP, actually. I thought Cooper would win it, but hey, 31 to 10 is, is sensational. Asar Thompson, yes, sir. I, I want to see him win Defensive Player of the Year in real life. Uh, and then Cameron Boozer, he's actually one of the better players in the league. Okay, well, you know, the usual suspects, there actually is no center that's all NBA first team. You'd think Wemby Yama would be, but uh, he's not even second team. He's all NBA third team. Don't know what's going on with Wemby Yama. His stat line is not that impressive but they are the first seed in the west so who's really winning at the end of the day we're the second seed so let's go ahead and get back to the finals in four p but without Bronny or without bryce it's gonna be tough we're going to a game seven cooper flag is injured okay he's still playing though but yeah bryce was someone that could hit shots for us you know and and, and be a bucket getter without him it's kind of an issue but we're gonna still win this game right here by like 20. Bronny had 40 and 14 he made 10 three-pointers, damn. Okay, up against the 6 seed Thunder, they kind of declined. 2-2, uh, 3-2, two, 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 and it's another Game 7. So many Game 7s in this video, I don't like it, you know, but it is what it is. 
I think we're gonna run away with it. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. As Bronny has 32, eight and 15, these are like Nikola Jokic stat lines. And we got Jared McCain, the TikToker. Yeah, he uh, put up 21, 21 points. And we got the cum bucket. He put up 26. So now we're up against Wemben Yama in the Spurs. Let's see if we can beat him. And we're down 2-1. Come on. 3-2. We're going to the finals once again, but this time against the Raptors. Raptors led by Scotty Barnes, DJ Wagner, and then a bunch of... Oh, we got Keon Anthony. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, this is uh, Carmelo's son, I believe. No, it might not be, actually. Maybe, I don't know. RJ Barrett. Not, they're not... The East is so whack, by the way. I, I just realized the East is so whack. The Nets were the first seed, led by Rob Dillingham. Yeah, the East is, like, so easy. <laughs> we're gonna sweep them, yeah. I just realized. Okay. Well, that's four in a row. So, <laughs> we're already gonna hit five soon. Well, 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 man. What do you know? 65 wins, and it's just been Cooper and Bronny taking turns winning MVP. The Thompson Twins, they got sixth man in defensive, so good for them. But what's their overall? 89 and 87? It's just not enough, bro. It really isn't. So, at this point, Wendell Williamson. I'm not sure if that's a real person or not. I don't think so. Uh, Jokic is still crushing it. He's still on NBA first team. But hey, we're the first seed, and I think we're about to win our fifth ring in how many seasons? So, Bronny, this is his eighth year. We're about to win five rings in eight years. I didn't think it'd be this easy to, re to, to you know, have an expansion team be successful, but it's the power of, of, uh, of LeBron, and uh, we are going to win five rings in eight years. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this is going so smooth. Let's just keep going until we win 10 rings. Why not? Like, we have the best offense in the league, but it's not like it's a huge uh, gap between the next best team. Like, it's just like a point more. Our defense, though, it's not even the best defense. It's one of the best, but not even the best. It's just the combination of, you know, the, the, the differential. Are we making the most threes per game? Yeah, we're making the most three-pointers per game. And I think we probably have the most assists. No, we don't. Not even top 10. Uh, yeah, I don't know how we're doing so good. I'll be real. I don't because the stats aren't really impressing me. But I feel like now my goal should be to get Bronny and Cooper Flag in the top five of scoring all time as teammates. And with them being only 26 and 27 years old, I think we'll be able to do that pretty easily. It's like Wemby heard me last season and he said, all right, bet he won an MVP, his second one. Um, and then he also won Defensive Player of the Year. So he sat up. He locked in. It don't matter though. We're still on NBA first team and we are the second seed, but the Spurs haven't beat us in the playoffs yet. But in the first round, the Suns almost beat us. Hold on. Are the Nuggets about to beat us? It's to a game seven. I actually trust my team to win. Oh no. What? We lost by three in overtime. I did not think I had to worry about this team. Who's Popson? Woody Popson. <laughs> what? Okay. I, ah, for the first time in a minute, we lost. And the Spurs and Knicks, Spurs go all the way. Wow, man. Careful what you wish for, man. We got some more retirees. Joel Embiid retiring at a 74 overall free agent. It's kind of sad, but Mikael Bridges, he left us. And uh, he was still a solid player for us, so that hurts. Unless there was like a rule change that made the shot clock violation uh, longer, I'm surprised the MVP only ever 17 and 7. But for Bronny, hey, we'll take it, man. I'm not complaining. Um, Cooper Flag is not on NBA first team. He's actually injured. Okay, a lower right leg stress fracture. That's not good. Yeah, he only averaged 16. I imagine there was a rule change. Cameron Boozer averaged 17. I hate when that happens. Like, they just make it to where it messes everything up. Like, there's no shot clock violation or whatever. So there's less possessions per game. And in round one, we uh, we win, okay? On the right track, up against the Lakers. We should beat them, right? Yes, sir. Back to the finals against the Celtics. Cooper's still injured, but it's day to day. We've been, missing, we've been missing him the whole playoffs. We got Robert Griffin with uh, Bronny here leading this team. The Celtics, they still have Jalen Brown. He uh, never left, still collecting the bag from them. VJ Edgecombe and Matt Buzilis are their best players. I think it's going to be easy, easy uh, 4 1. Hold on. We win it in six. Bronny finals MVP. Make that number six. And he just surpassed. Actually, no, he surpassed it uh, last year. So he already has two more championships than uh, LeBron. And that means LeBron has more rings as a owner than a player. So because LeBron has six rings as an owner and four as a player, that puts him at 10. 
And uh, Phil Jackson, actually, him and Bill Russell are tied for the most rings, you know, in total with 11. So if we win one more, we could tie with them. So I want to win two more and we can make him the undisputed GOAT of basketball, like everything. Back as the first seed, here's our chance to tie, uh, you know, the 11 rings for LeBron. And uh, Cooper Flag ended up winning MVP this season in 2035. And the thing is, he averaged 16. If you want to break the scoring records, we're going to fix that rule in the offseason so they can average more points per game because this is completely screwing our uh, our goal here. And hold on, why are the Rockets actually good? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are the Rockets actually good? Who do they have? Dylan Harper and Ace Bailey? They're still doing their thing, huh? All right, bet. Well, let me just hop in here. And if I got to hop in and play, I will. But I might have to. It's a close one. Nope, we ran away within the end. We ended up winning by six. Bronny had 15, but like, bro, really? Only one three-point shot made? Like, they got DJ Wagner? We, we picked up DJ Wagner this season. They played in high school against each other a lot um, back in the day. So we're going to the finals against the Knicks again. Who are these Knicks, man? There's no way Jalen Brunson is going to the finals this many times. Has he, has he won a single one? No. <laughs> bro went to the finals like five times and it's like he 0 for 5. Um, but hey, Hey, I mean, game is game. Let's see. Game one, we take it. We're, oh, 2-2. Two, two. Wait a minute, 3-2. <laughs> All right. That is ring number 11 for LeBron. And Giannis and Devin Booker. Booker played 20 seasons and still is only 38. He could play a couple more, I bet. But he's probably burnt out. Uh, they're both going to make the Hall of Fame, I imagine. Yup. And now it is time for the league meetings, we gotta fix this. Shot clock, yeah, change the shot clock to 24 seconds. I actually go to 20 seconds just to make up for the you know lost time in the last couple years. Um, so then there's more possessions per game, means more points per game. Now the crazy part is about this team, is like we really haven't crossed 92 overall, it's just been a 91 to 88, but because our play styles complement each other so much, we don't need crazy high overalls to win rings. We got so much chemistry. Uh, the best player in the league is Wembenyama, only in 94 overall. You can argue this is kind of a weak era of basketball in 2035. Look at this, man. I don't care how weak of an era this is. We're about to tie Jordan's 72 and 10 Bulls to, yeah, bro. Jordan can never build a shard, uh, shard, shardnets, sharded. I just sharded. I actually sharded a couple days ago, funny enough. Um, it was not, not a fun time. Charlotte Hornets, um, they were never th this good is what I was trying to say. But Cooper Flag, now back to what I know he could do, averaging 29 to 12. Um, and then Bronny, his averages are back up to what? 26 and 11. All right, well, let's win them their eighth ring and set the all-time record for most rings won for LeBron as an owner and player. And we're gonna do it up against, oh, <laughs> funny enough, the, Char the Charlotte Hornets. Led by Stanley Richards, LaMelo Ball is still on the team. I forgot about, bro. Yeah, he's been really quiet this video. Uh, we're probably gonna sweep him. And that's what happens. Cooper Flag finals MVP. And we just set a new all-time all record for LeBron. Uh, mission accomplished. Let's keep going until they retire at this point. So fast forward and 22 years later, Bronny retires and Cooper Flag retires. And let's recap how many rings did they win? We finished off their careers. So let's see, I think uh, they didn't win until Cooper got drafted, but we finished with 13 NBA championships. So Bronny alone, he broke the record for most rings, 13. And then he had four MVPs. Cooper Flag, he had six MVPs. So 10 MVPs combined in the 22 years of this franchise history is crazy. When it comes to career high for Bronny, he got 62 points in the game. Cooper Flag got 60, so that was really solid. And then career averages uh, all the way down here. He averaged 24, 6, and 10. And Cooper averaged 25, uh, 11, and 5. So really solid for both of them. I imagine they both made the Hall of Fame, right? Yes, they both made the Hall of Fame alongside AJ Dibinsa and then Koa Pete and Drake Powell. Uh, so three bots, but like the two real players here uh, made the Hall of Fame. They each both won, each both won. They both won seven finals MVPs each. In moment of truth, did they break any records? Yes, Cooper Flag by a hundred points. He crosses LeBron James, his owner, uh, his, the, the team owner, it's like, sounded kind of weird. But yeah, for 40,700 points. And then Bronny finishes fourth right under Kareem. So yeah, talk about a legacy. Bronny ends up with the most three-pointers ever, which is kind of crazy. And then I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Cooper Flag finishes third in rebounds at six foot nine. And assist, Bronny finishes number two. And then Cooper finishes seventh in blocks. 
and Bronny finishes fourth in steals. So looking at LeBron's team, just to recap, you know, of his NBA ownership career, he uh, won, what, 13 championships, and he made the playoffs 20 times in 22 seasons. Talk about greatness. 67 to 15 was the previous record. It doesn't show the best one. We won 72 games before. Uh, but as you can see, Bronny's numbers retired. Cooper Flag's numbers retired. And then for team records, Bronny, he had he set the record for most points in the game with 62. Uh, most field goals was him. Three pointers made was Zach Levine in that second season with us, or the first season with us. Uh, free throws made Terry Rozier, rebounds Cooper, assists, Bronny had 23 assists in a single game, Cooper had 9 blocks in the game, Bronny had 7 steals, and uh, Hellcat's going crazy. So not only is LeBron the greatest player of all time, but as you've seen in this video, he's the greatest owner of all time as well.